students uh, in the connecting rod we will go with the next part it is the distance piece uh, the distance piece will be seated in the sideways so for that in this case we need to take the side view plane here we can also take the front view plane but we need to rotate in the when it comes to the assembly so for that reason we need to take the side view plane so go with the sketch here go with the sketch take the side view plane and now we will see the drawing of the distance piece here this is part number six so here it is in this case okay the distance piece it is having this okay it's a small part with a smaller dimension it is 2 mm you can find and then 1.5 you can find and then 5 mm so in this way so for that we need to go in a systematic way and then here it is when you take the vertical axis it is symmetric on both the sides when you take the vertical axis it is symmetric on both the sides so for that when we construct only half of it either it can go with the right half or the left part and then afterwards you can go with the mirror and then finally you can go with the so to get the thickness you need to go with the 3m so to start with we will create the sketch here so for creating the sketch i will select the bottom part here okay for this i will go with this part here and then later i will go with the circle and then i will go with this tangent line and then the arc here so to start with i will from the taking the vertical axis as the reference i will be okay drawing this profile here go with the profile here so take the line here so just so we need to draw the profile here when you are drawing you should not take any reference this line which is okay appearing you need to take okay the length extra than that you should not confine to any okay features so that otherwise what will happen so at the end we will be finding it difficult to set the dimensions now we need to set the dimensions so here it is with respect to vertical axis we need to fix the dimension so this is one dimension and then from here to this point okay it is one more and then from here okay to this point it is one more dimension here and uh, coming to the horizontal references so it is okay so this measurement okay it is horizontal measurement you need to take this okay the slant measurement and then click, click the rate mouse button you will be getting the horizontal measurement direction here okay these are the horizontal measurements which is given so that we need to show it here okay this is also horizontal measurement is given so show the horizontal measurement here now so the total distance from here to here so that we need to show it here now we need to change the dimensions when you see the sketch here it is So when you see the sketch here, so it is okay. So the bottom portion it is 1.5. Okay, for this flat portion it is 1.5, and then so it is. So next is okay. From here to here it is given as 5, and then total distance it is given as 7. So if it is 5 here, then from the bottom it is 2 mm here. So accordingly we need to set the dimension. So here it is 1.5. And then here it is 2 mm and then here it is 7 mm okay and coming to the horizontal measurement here it is so when you come to the horizontal measurements it is given 2 mm here okay for this flat length it is given 2 and then this length it is not given here and then here it is given this length measurement as 2 so we will be approximating okay let us take the same 2 mm this side also and in that case 2 2 and then 2 mm and then here it is coming to the total length it is 33 when you are taking half it is 16.5 so this measurement it is 2 mm and then here it is 2 and then again here it is okay, 2 mm and this measurement it is 16.5 okay so we will be getting the smaller measurement so if you want you can move it okay, near to it the dimensions before proceeding so that it will be easy for us to go with the modeling In 
this way we have set the dimensions now we need to go with our circles here okay it's given the circle in the same measurement it is given 7 mm at the same height you need to draw the circle for the radius 10 and then with the same center we need to draw one more arc okay it is okay for the inner circle its uh, diameter is 10.5 and then to draw the arc you need to so take the radius as 10 now let us go here so take the circle so here it is on the vertical axis and then with respect to this alignment okay with respect to that alignment so we need to draw the circle here so and then we need to draw one more circle here okay so with the same center with the same center so we need to take the circle here and we need to so draw one more so don't take any concern okay the features here it is any geometrical constraints just need to draw it here later we can set the dimensions now we can set the dimension so for the first one it is it's given the radius as 10 the diameter is 20 and then for the second one it is given diameter is 10.5 here okay it is 10.5 when i say this okay the center it's it's not same for both the circles so we need to make it concentric here okay so you need to select the two circles select the circle and then select it and then go here constraint dialog box okay go with this constraint dialog box so that we can make the same center for both the circles okay go with the concentricity just click it and then click ok now we made it okay now when you zoom it and then when you check it here it is okay how much is the measurement length from the bottom so, okay face so it is you can check it here from this horizontal reference to the center point of the circle okay we can check it it is not 7 it is 7.3 so we need to change it to 7 mm here okay we need to make it 7 mm and then similarly this center point of the circle should be in line with this we can check it here in line with the vertical axis go with the constraint dialog box and then we can go with concept okay coincide so that now it is placed perfectly here now so after this so we need to so you can when you see the sketch here it is we need to draw the tangent line here okay for this arc for this arc we need to draw the tangent line so we need to go here take the profile so from this end point of this line you need to draw the tangent line okay when you are drawing the tangent line so you can see that there are two lines which you can be getting okay you can find the two lines in this case will be getting the tangent condition okay and this will be getting here now it is you need to get the half of the part and then later you will be getting the other half so for that what i'll be doing so just i'll draw the okay, with respect to the vertical axis so i'll be drawing the line here so that i can go with a trimming now i cannot find this trim command so you need to go here customize so you can go with the toolbars click the restore functions and then restore position so click close so you'll be getting here you need to drag it if you are not finding any of the commands now you'll be getting here so it is a quick trim and then using that you need to remove the okay remove this portion here it is not required so this portion is not required okay it is okay now we are going with a mirror so that you can remove and then here you can, you can also remove this line here so this portion you can trim it and then uh, this portion also you can trim it here And then there is a small portion which is left out here. Okay, that we need to remove here. Now, so we need to go with the mirror. Okay, so for that you need to select the lines. So which are the lines which you need to go with the mirror. So these are this tangent line. Okay, so these are the lines which I need to. So I need to make it mirror. So go with this mirror here with respect to this vertical axis you got it on the other side now you can so cross check your sketch whether it is close or not okay for that you need to make use of this command here it is sketch solving status just you need to click it here and you'll be getting the browse you need to browse the sketch so it is it should be iso constraint here and then some points it is showing under constraint here the points 
okay that you can delete it here if it is not so much important select it here and then you can press delete okay. and in this case it is required here that circle okay and then it is one more uh, this thing. Okay, under constraint there are some points which are under constraint okay that you need to uh, make it okay so let us close this okay let us draw the circle once again so okay close okay, go with the circle here so take this common point here common point and then draw the circle set the dimension okay for the circle as 10.5 okay 10.5 so here it is you can find that if there are any extra points you will be getting the under constraint so now it is showing the iso constraint condition so main thing is here it is okay you need to get the implicit profile as closed here okay and then there is one okay there are two profiles will be getting one is for the outermost one and then in this case i wanted this hole here this we can do it at the end also in the later stage but if we incorporate here we can save the time so for that reason i have taken the circle here okay in this case both are close no need to worry and then click close so now the sketch is ready so we need to go with the part okay, part modeling here so it is go with this exit workbench and in this case we need to add the thickness okay for this surface so for that since it is a flat surface we need to go with the pad command okay go with the pad here and in this case it is given the thickness as 3 mm in the top view in the drawing it is given as 3 mm we need to take the length as 3 and then click preview and then click ok so this will become the okay distance space here okay in this way you will be getting seems to be simple but it requires some time and then at the same time it requires some patience also in order to create this part okay so this completes the distance space thank you